Bonjour, my name is Pascal Lessard. I'm from Quebec, Canada, French Canadian. Um, and today I want to introduce uh, my course. So it's about common verbs that we use daily, like avoir, to have, et être, to be. And the common expressions that go that go with them. For example, j'ai faim, I have hunger. You, you cannot say I am hungry in French. You say I have hunger. Uh, j'ai soif, I have thirst. Or uh, j'ai 35 ans, I have 35 years of age. So you'll see the common expressions that go with the verb. And the verb être, to be, je suis, Canadian Francaise. I am French Canadian. Tu es charmant. You are charming. Using adjectives. So the, the expressions with être, to be. And faire, which is a very important verb in French because we uh, use it for a lot of expressions. The verb to do or to make. Because we say Je fais du ski, I do some skiing, which sounds weird in English, but it's very common in French. We use faire for a lot of expressions like je fais la vaisselle, I do the dishes. Je fais mon lit, I make my bed. Je fais du patin, I do some skating. So you'll see uh, some common expressions and sentences with faire. And the verb aller is also very important because you can talk in the future if you know aller. So you can say, I'm going to eat, I'm going to walk, I'm going to watch a movie. So aller, je vais voir un film, I'm going to watch a movie. Je vais au magasin, I'm going to the store. So these are... Uh, some expressions you learn. Also, the verb vouloir, to want, pouvoir, uh, be able to, or can, and devoir, must. So, je veux, je veux manger, I want to eat. Je peux nager, I can swim. Je dois, I must. Faire mes devoirs, I must do my homework. And the conditional, the, the polite form of uh, those verbs. So, for example, j'aimerais, I would like, or je voudrais, I would want, or I would like, uh, je pourrais, or could I, est-ce que je pourrais, could I, so you'll see the polite form of those verbs too. So my goal is to give you the basics of verb conjugation with common expressions, but not to go deep into a conjugation that you wouldn't do at the intermediate level, like subjunctive form or... So this is very basic, so what you would need for a conversation and uh, some very common expressions. So, aimer, to like. So, j'aimerais, you, you'll also see the conditional form of this. I would like instead of I like. Je voudrais. Uh, or j'aime, in the sense of I like. J'aime patiner. I like to skate. Or j'aime manger uh, avec uh, un bon verre. De vin rouge. I like, I like to eat with a good glass of red wine. Uh, prendre, to take. Uh, mettre, to put on. And sentir, to feel. Je me sens bien aujourd'hui. I feel good today. Or je me sens triste. I feel sad. So those verbs. And l'imparfait. L'imparfait is the past tense, but um, it's a, a habit of what you used to do or what you did for a period of time. And uh, passé composé is the preterito in Spanish. It's like 
the past tense, but it's a one-time event. I did this and it's over. So yesterday I ate some spaghetti and today I'm eating something else. So this is uh, the past tense, but a one-time event. And this is more of a habit or uh, you used to do that. Like I used to play outside a lot when I was a kid. So je jouais dehors. I would play outside. Le passé composé is like, j'ai mangé, I ate, it's done. Uh, j'ai vu un film, I saw a movie, I watched a movie yesterday. So you'll learn about all these verbs and in the next video we'll start with the verb avoir, to have, which is a very important verb. So see you in the next one and uh, enjoy the lessons. A bientôt.